I'm excited to take you to one of my all-time favorite places, Santa Cruz. Besides being known as the home of the slugs, UCSC, it's got everything from a bustling downtown, the famous boardwalk, and of course, a long history of surfing. Surfing is the official sport of California, and Santa Cruz happens to be the birthplace of mainland surfing in the United States. In 1885, three Hawaiian princes vacationed in Santa Cruz and started catching waves. Now, how did the princes get their boards, people always ask. Well, about four blocks away was the largest planing lumber yard mill in Santa Cruz. It was called the Grover Lumber Company and planing mill. So it was easy for the princes to acquire their planks is what they use to shape their planks into Ola boards, redwood. When the princes had their boards finished, they just dropped them in the, in the river and paddled down to the river mouth. The particular day that this was documented in the paper that they were surfing, there was a big event going on on the main beach. There were like a swim races and a donkey cart race and various activities occurring. So this person from the local newspaper was down there documenting that and documented the princes surfing with that one line. When you think about it, not that many people in those days knew how to swim. I'm sure there were people that saw that exhibition that witnessed it. And we know for a fact that it did catch on and since that historical moment, you know, since 1885, there's been a very close-knit community of surfers in Santa Cruz, young, old, past, present, and future. It's kind of a legacy that's continued here. And check this out. This lighthouse is the first institution dedicated to preserving surf history. It's the Santa Cruz Surfing Museum. A bunch of us back in 1985 got together and we said, you know, we need to get a surf museum. So we approached the city parks and rec department. So we got their blessing to go ahead and use the inside of the lighthouse. I consider our surfing museum very unique. It's small, it has a lot of stuff in it, and we were able to put together a timeline to document surfing in Santa Cruz County. And just next door to the museum is Steamer Lane, one of the gnarliest places to surf in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz County is a great place to surf. We have a lot of different surf breaks here. You don't have to drive very far, and the way the coastline's configured, it picks up all the different swell directions. You can usually find a break or two that's conducive to your expertise. And I have a little bit of a background in surfing too, from being in surf movies to a television series, and I just love the sport. There's no other feeling like it. You literally get to surf the energy that nature creates. The thrill of catching a wave, whether it's one or two feet or it's 10 to 12 foot, it's just the exhilaration of you catching something that's created by nature. Once you start, it kind of gets in your blood. It's the feel of the water, the wind, the camaraderie in the water. It's a lifestyle. Surf's up, I think it's time to catch some waves. <laughs>